Hello welcome back to our channel. From gargantuan flying boats to tank built to survive a nuclear bomb, here are the craziest Soviet machines you won't believe exist. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. Number 15. The Mil V-12 Helicopter. Showing a persistent danger while resembling a praying mantis. In 1968, the Moscow Helicopter Factory produced the largest helicopter ever made. The massive prototype choppers required six crew members, including an electrician, to keep the Mil V-12 afloat and measured 67 meters from rotor tip to rotor tip. The vehicle, which has a foreboding aspect, is perfectly fitted for the job for which it was built in 1969 transporting intercontinental nuclear missiles to their launch pads. A daring test crew piloting a Mil V-12 set a helicopter weightlifting record by carrying a 40,000 kg load to a height of 2.25 km. That V-12 had already aced its job interviews by the time the mill opened, already redundant, it. The creation of massive missile trucks with the ability to wheel build and launch missiles opened up a faster, easier way to wipe off civilization. The two mills that were constructed were retired in 1974, and one of them is now on exhibit at the Central Air Force Museum, which is close to Moscow. The enormous helicopter made an embarrassing cameo in an April Fool's hoax where the meals were used as the inspiration for expertly photoshopped advertisements for the first helicopter in history, a five-star hotel that can now fly like the factory V-12s themselves. The company responsible for the joke has since been forgotten. Number 14. Loon underscore glass Akranoplan. Flying boats have been in use since its invention in 1910, therefore they are nothing new. However, the Akranoplan design was a daring one that would have redefined what a flying boat was by using an air cushion over the sea. With the intention of intercepting approaching aircraft carriers and sending them to the depths with the help of their mascot missiles, these monsters fly at low height across areas of water exploiting the ground effect. Number 13. Kalinin K-7. Huge aircraft with wingspans of hundreds of feet are commonplace today. Simply look up and you will likely find an airliner flying overhead that is larger than the Kalinin K-7, yet this monstrosity, which has a wingspan of more than 170 feet, was amazingly created in the 1930s. It was the largest aircraft in the world at the time and was capable of heavy bombing and troop transport. Unfortunately, it was simply too complex and had too many issues for the available technology. When the only K-7 build crashed while being tested, the program was over. Number 12. Object 279. The item 279 is a 66-ton tank behemoth with a distinctive hull design intended to resist a nuclear explosion. Strong Cold War vibes item 279 is still a renowned piece of Cold War equipment even though the Russian tank never made it to production from just looking. It's odd how this tank is. However, things become even stranger when you learn that they were intended to be an advanced all-terrain heavy tank. The item 279's peculiar shape served a specific function to divert shockwaves from nuclear explosions. Yes, this tank was built to withstand being hit by a nuclear weapon. It did not survive, however, the expenditures of the program's cancellation after just one Object 279 was made. The Object 279's overall form is one of its most noteworthy features. In this instance, the Russian tank can even sustain enough nuclear blast to remain upright in addition to providing greater missile deflection. Number 11. Antonov and 40 Krylyatanka. For those who don't know Russian, Krylyatanka simply translates to tank wings, but that much is clear from the image. The N-40 was built to be trailed behind a bomber and then unleashed to glide into hostile area where she could fight as a regular tank thanks to her wings. Unsurprisingly, it had no purpose, and as a result, the program was scrapped after only one test flight. Number 10. T-55 Progrev T. No, despite the fact that it appears to be a jet engine from a MiG-15 fighter jet, the strange piece of equipment replacing the cannon of this T-55 tank is not some futuristic plasma cannon or some other bizarre sci-fi concept instead than wrecking other cars. It was intended to be pointed at a minefield so that, in principle, any person buried beneath would be awakened by the force and heat of the jet explosion. Number 9. Tsar Tank Natoper. The Tsar Tank, also known as the King Tank or the Natoper, is a ridiculous vehicle that resembles something from a movie. It briefly existed, albeit it was not very useful. Tanks first appeared on the battlefield during World War I, opening the door for years of advancement. 
The Tsar tank attempted to hasten those advancements by employing 30-foot-tall wheels to pass over trenches and other barriers. In truth, it either got lost in a swamp while being tested or stayed there for years before being disassembled for scrap in 1923. Number 8. Bartini Bereev VVA-14. It seems to be a trend among Soviet experimental vehicles that they end up resembling science fiction devices, or perhaps science fiction creators were inspired by the Soviets. The Bartini Berea VVA-14 is among the best illustrations of this. Unusual amphibious aircraft with successful test flights. The VVA-14 could hover over water, which added to its bizarreness, but the three prototypes were abandoned once the program was cancelled. Number 7. Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-105. Not a fighter jet, this. This spacecraft is designed to be fired off of a high-altitude 2N95 bomber like a missile. It would then be sent into orbit using a combination of jet and rocket engines. After many flights in the atmosphere, the eighth and last test ended with a hard landing that rode off the spacecraft. The MiG-105 was ultimately scrapped in favor of the Baron and Nurja space shuttle, never making it into orbit. Number 6. Illusion Il-40 Brani. The Soviet Il-2 became legendary during World War II for being a resilient and potent ground attack aircraft at the onset of the conflict with cutting-edge jet technology sweeping the globe. The existence of a jet-powered replacement for the renowned flying tank looked to be a logical evolution. Number 5. ZVM-2901 Shnikokot. One of the most distinctive all-terrain vehicles in existence. The ZVM-2901 is still in use today and was made from a UAZ truck as part of a line of screw-driven vehicles. Even if the Soviet Union's experiments with the idea never materialized, they did function as intended. Particularly the ZVM-2901 sat abandoned until a group of Russian engineers brought it back to its former splendor for all to behold. Number 4. Kamov Ka-22 Vintokril. While many Soviet aircraft have a truly bizarre appearance, this giant wins the prize for the wackiest aircraft. Despite the absurd appearances. When it initially flew in 1960, it smashed a number of world records, including those for rotorcraft top speed and payload capacity. Unfortunately, the Ka-22 was simply too complicated, and after the prototypes crashed while being tested, it was replaced with the more basic Mi-6 Hook helicopter. Number 3. Project 907 Triton Submarine. Despite its amusing appearance, the true purpose of this miniature submarine remains unknown and shrouded in secret. What is known is that 32 Project 907 submarines, which function as a man's torpedo and can each carry a crew of two, were completed. Number 2. Object 934 Volgograd River Monster. No, a tank driver didn't pay attention while operating it, as evidenced by this image. The PT-76 amphibious tank successfully performed the same function as the item 934 amphibious tank and has been devotedly serving 25 countries to this day. The object 934 was planned and built as an amphibious tank with a top speed of 6 miles per hour when in the water. Number 1. Suhoi T-4 SOTKA. Resembling the American XB-70 Valkyr in appearance. The Suhoi T-4 was an unsuccessful attempt to match the American development of a Mach 3 nuclear bomber. Although shorter and with a different cockpit design, the T-4 is not a direct copy, and it also failed, much like the XB-70 Valkyr, because it was too difficult to fly and too expensive compared to the value it provided. Fortunately for aviation enthusiasts, the Menino Air Museum still has the only prototype T-4 on exhibit. This is it for today's video. What you think of these strange and powerful machines? Do share with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.